Seriously? On, bring it. All right! Who gets captain? Is it Christiana or is it Micaiah? Because you're what? both gonna be captain. Yeah! You don't walk out on this, the dog. But two weeks ago, there was heartbreak and chaos when Christiana abandoned the team the night before the competition. What? Man. Oh, my God. She's my little sister. She's my doll sister. And tonight, oh my God. Oh. her knee is done, so that means she cannot dance. Oh, my God. Are you serious? You got to catch on faster. It's going to drive me mad. I feel like we have a lot to prove. We lose because of y'all. I'm be pissed. It's like my body is in the dollhouse. You need to fix your face. But mentally, I'm just not here at all. This week is Survivor Stand Battle. Who are you voting off? Has anybody, you know, like, spoken to Valisa? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Two weeks ago, Christiana didn't show up for the last day of practice. Then last week, there was no Christiana, there was no Valisa. The DDPs and I are trying to figure out what is going on. All right, team, everybody, gather around. Mandana in there getting them girls together, and she looking rough. All I know is I can't take another week of this. The hardest thing about the situation is, is not knowing what's going to happen. All right, outside on the porch, DDP, please pay attention. It is time for today's announcement. Oh, no. Okay, so I have an announcement to make. And I'm pretty sure you guys are well aware that Christiana has not been with us for a few weeks now. And I told you guys last week that I wasn't really sure what was going to go on. Christiana is not going to be returning to the dollhouse for the remainder of this competition season. Personally, I think the whole situation is, is the worst to be in as a coach because you... I've, I've known Christiana since she was five. She's been with me a long time, and I've been waiting for the opportunity to be able to give her the captain position. And her not being there, it makes me feel all types of ways. I'm just disappointed at the whole situation. OMG, are you serious? It don't make no sense. Like, the dolls without Christiana. Like, what? what is that? Hearing Ms. Diana say that Christiana will not come back at all really hurts because me and Christiana both started the team at the same time. The reason I picked this team is because it's, like, the best. And to know that we can't even finish it out together really sucks. Girls gonna have to step up, fill in to where Christiana has left that big old hole. Like, the very idea of Christiana not returning, it's like family just leaving. To hear Christiana not come back, she's our sister. She's my little sister. She's my doll sister. I wish she would have came to us rather than hearing it from Miss Diana. It's a really sad situation, but there's really nothing that I can do about it. I definitely don't blame Christiana, and I'm not angry with her at all, but I can't run my team like this, not knowing whether or not the captain's gonna show up. And Valisa yanking Christiana the night before a competition, it's just not cool. So it's time for me to shift gears and move the hell on. We love Christiana, we hate to see her not be here, but we have to move on. Right now, we have a competition, and Micaiah, you are the head doll in charge. I'm very close to Christiana, and she was also the captain with me. So now I have to be the captain for the rest of the season by myself, and I'm just wondering, how is this going to work out? Moving on this week, it is Survivor Stand Battle. And it means just what it says. You have to survive. We've got to focus this week because this competition is really, really unique. After every round of stands, we will stop, and every team will eliminate someone from the opposing team, and that dancer will be eliminated for the entire rest of the competition. That means somebody got to go. 
voted off, we've never had a stand battle where you could be voted off. And when you're eliminated, you're done for the day. Oh, it's gonna be cutthroat. You know, this is Jaylene's first time being on a stand battle. This her first time? Well, she's had featured parts. You know, so they use her usually for, you know, her tricks. You know, contortion and acro stuff that she does. But she's never actually been a stand battle member. The other teams will be picking off our heavy hitters, which means we need as many vets on the floor as possible. I can't think of a worse week to lose Christiana for good. I hope the dogs don't buckle under pressure and let their emotions get the best of them. There's another twist. We all have the opportunity to incorporate one out-of-the-box element. Out-of-the-box means using a prop or a special gas or some type of special clapback stand. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna think of something really big. Your rivals for the week are Black Ice, hashtag energy sometimes. Hashtag big ass damn mouth, hashtag black dirty water. One, two, three, four, five hits, six go, seven hit, eight and one, two hit, three and four. I know Diana threatened by Black Ice. I know she threatened by us. We are forced to be reckoned with. Okay, y'all, so this week we going down to Yazoo, Mississippi to battle the Dancing Dolls. We coming for all of them. Whoever they got out there, we coming for their captains, we coming for their strongest member that's on the floor. We hunting, we in the toy box. As soon as we find the door, done. We taking they heads off. Who you with? Who you with? Explosive. Explosive has a huge personality and a huge presence on the floor. We got work to do. Get up, let's go. Marquel is not here this week because he is with D. Williams Dance Company in Birmingham. Come on, everybody, let's go. Now, the boys already learned their choreography from Marquel last week, so I'm gonna use the boys later on in the stand that has a lot of hip hop choreography. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard proving to people who's been teammates for over five years that you should play an important part on their team. But I feel like the boys have helped the dolls win a couple of weeks, so I feel like we just gotta keep our confidence level up and just keep moving forward. And five, six, seven, eight, hit one and two, three and four. Buck, 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 tick, tick, down. Practice using your hands and being strong with your arms so y'all don't be lazy looking when we get ready to do a full out. Practice starts and already, I'm trying my best to keep my patience and try to keep my, 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 my attitude suppressed. But the more these girls do not do their arm movements full out so that I can see they actually know the choreography, I'm getting more and more annoyed. Cause whoever do not have it, I'm going to cut you. Damn getting picked off by another team. I'm gonna cut your ass and you're not gonna dance. As I'm dancing, I start to feel my knee get a little twinge. We have a super big competition coming up, and now knowing that Christiana is not gonna be here, I just don't wanna let down my team. So I'm going to ignore it and just hope for the best. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one stop. Again, my bets are doing pretty good, but I'm noticing that some of the new girls, like Jaylene, are looking very lackluster. This is eight, this is one. Jaylene's a lot newer than some of the other girls, her and her mom moved to Mississippi from New York City with hopes of becoming a doll and learning and training with the team. But today, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, Jaylene, baby. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. She seems to be really off. It's abnormal because Jaylene works really, really hard. You gotta catch on faster, it's gonna drive me mad. You stand it back here every week. You see what they doing. You need to be learning this Miss D is scolding me. And at this moment, it's like my body is in the dollhouse, but mentally, I'm just not here at all. I just sat here and did it 10 times. Seven, eight, one, two, three. Ass in the air, three. Down four, whole five, six, get to seven, eight. We spent 15 minutes trying to help you. We ain't got time. Five, six, seven, Hey, how you feeling, Marayla? Because I could tell right now you're frustrated. I can see that Jaden is doing her best. She's trying her hardest. And then Diana is just like yelling at her and picking on her. And it's just like, 
it's not helping the situation. I don't want you to take it offensively because she did that to Faith. When she starts getting on to you like that, that means it's something in you that she so wants to get out. there's a out. positive side to it. It is, but it comes off negative. If Diana's focusing on you like that, that means she's taking you serious. When she comes at you, she's going to come down on you hard. Two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, stop. You don't know any of this? OK, then you need to do it. You didn't hear the PSA? I can't keep giving her shot after shot, and, and it costs us the win, and she keeps messing up. OK, we did this formation already. I can't babysit you. I can't. I ain't got time. We've all been there. And because we've all been there, it's really hard to watch Jaylene get yelled at by Miss Diana. But if she wants to be a doll, she's going to have to get over it. I'm not going to babysit you. I'm not going to hold your hand. It's a surefire way to get cussed out. You need to fix your face. We did this formation already. I can't babysit you. Do it again. I can't keep starting over. We're starting over because of you. This week is a really crazy competition. It's very different from anything we've ever done before. Not to mention, some of the kids in here are sleeping on the job, and one of those kids is Jaylene. Y'all um, can go. Good job, everybody. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, Jaylene, I need to see you. I need to talk to Jaylene, because if we stand a chance at winning this week, every girl's going to have to be on their A game. Black Ice is not coming to play with us. What seems to be your issue? I don't. I just feel a little down. Why is that? Grandmother. And what about her? She hasn't been doing well, and I'm very nervous. And I'm a bit worried, so my mind isn't there. The last few weeks have been very difficult for Jaylene. She lost a grand aunt. Now my mother, her grandmother, is alone in New York, and Jaylene feels like she should be there helping. It is fine to worry. It is fine to be upset. It is fine to be emotional. It is OK to cry. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm glad she's sharing it with me. At least I know what's going on. But I need for her to utilize her amazing dance ability to help her get over everything that's going on around her. All of us have things that are going on in our lives, but Using this is the place where you release that. You don't bring that into practice. In my experiences, sports, dance, anything athletic can be therapeutic. But Jaylene has got to allow her mind to not be so focused on other things. Yes. Do you need a hug? Okay. Are you sure? Because I don't give hugs. Okay. Are you sure you don't need a hug? Do you need a hug? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. I love you. We gonna rise above No matter what comes our way We gonna make it through On to brighter days When you see that little thing Last night was really rough. I personally think that there's something more going on than just Jaylene being upset over the death of my family. So you know, yesterday, you had a very hard time at practice. That's it, because I couldn't focus. You know, it's a lot going on with my life. So it kind of took a toll, because I always keep it inside. Jaylene is a sensitive and thoughtful girl. She's not your typical teenager. She doesn't just think about herself. I think she feels the burden of worrying about me and our family. Plus, you know, she hasn't made a lot of friends here, and she's basically alone. I worry because I know this was a very big change for you. You know, we left your grandma behind. We left Grandma Ma behind. We left your friends behind. I mean, we relocated from New York to Mississippi, and we left our family over there. And she hasn't made a lot of friends here, and she's basically alone. Something has to be, has to be at your outlet. And I know you like to let it out and dance most of the time, but you have to have, you know, a, out, a life outside of dance. Do you not want to hang out with, you know, outside of dance? It's just, it's kind of hard to try and fit in, so. I don't know how to deal with being sad or feeling like I'm lonely. I just don't know. Like, it's a new experience to me. I understand that it's hard to fit in because, obviously, I'm new on the porch. You know, I don't quite fit in as well. But I try. 
you have to try, because you never know. You should try to make friends. OK. You know how crazy I'm about you, right? Mm-hmm. Should give me some kisses. Give me some huggies. Because I love you. You know, baby, my princess. You're looking for a problem. You ain't never seen it. Like me. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready to do one walk through, and then we're going to do it. It's the second day of practice, and going into today, I am hoping that the girls come through the door ready to work, because half-assedness is going to get them a loss. So right now, I'm focusing on the girls, but I'm going to use the boys later on in the stand that has a lot of hip hop choreography. They learned their choreography from our quilt last week, so I'm going to be checking in with them periodically through the course of the week. Until then, they better be practicing in the back. Whoever is the weakest on the floor, prepare to be pulled out. Knowing that it is survivor stand battle, I can't have any weaklings out there on the floor because they're going to go for all of my heavy hitters first. I guarantee, if y'all are standing out there on the floor, they're going to go for camera first. Elimination is not just about eliminating heavy hitters. It's about ruining your stand, period. Taking out girls and messing up formations. And I know that our rivals, they're going to ride for our heavy hitters. So just prepare yourself mentally. Y'all you know, got to be able to recover with no problems. We have never done a battle like this before. And we're so used to practicing over and over again, it's really scary to think that what we're doing now is all for nothing, because anybody can be eliminated. I think this competition is challenging, but I think it's good for the girls. Yeah, you know that second week where Christiana didn't show up, the girls had a really, really, really tough time. Mm -hmm. But this will teach them, you know, to roll with the punches and, you know, right. adapt. Damn, it was rough yesterday. Oh, yeah. She was rough on the girls. Marayla, we tried to stay here as long as we could with you last night. What, what, what was Diana talking to Jaylene about? Ms. D is really worried about Jaylene because this week Jaylene's been off. We've had so much tragedy happen in our family. She said, I feel lonely. And then I'm like, sometimes I know how that feels. I yeah. felt that. I can understand how Jaylene feels because Kwai have been that way before. He have felt lonely. With Tree and Kwai being new on the team, they coming into a different atmosphere where they're not known. As a child, everybody wants to fit in. I don't know, I was thinking maybe we could do something as like a group with the girls, like a Jaylene do it, like maybe getting to know the girls, the boys come. Even though the moms and I, we bicker, we bash, we fight each other, whenever one of our kids are down, we are all concerned. I think a team bonding trip will be really good right now for everyone. And then they get to see each other outside yeah, of right. the dollhouse. OK, so you land on one, two, then three. Have y'all tried it? I need to try it. Jaylene is a lot better today. So I'm going to utilize her in different stands and try to utilize some of her tumbling and her tricks to, to bring these stands full circle and to make them go over the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jaylene is trying some really tough tricks here in practice, and I think that this is going to be what is needed to push us over the finish line for the championship round. This is the end. This is the you at the end. Let's do the one with the boys. When Miss Diana comes up to the floor, I definitely feel nervous because I feel like we have a lot to prove. Pull out with this. What the hell have they been doing all night? They look a hot ass man. The boys have been getting a lot of coddling this whole first month that they've been here, but Marquel is not here, and I'm not doing that. And they better step up. Anaya, come on, damn it! I gave y'all instructions what to do. I said it for y'all even started, so we wouldn't be where we are right now. We lose because of y'all, I'm be pissed. Ready? Five, six, Faith, you're alive. I have a knee that is super sensitive, and right now, it just isn't feeling right. Eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. What we got going? Talking about all the yelling that happened yesterday. Oh yeah. Diana rode Jaylene the first day. She raked the boys over the coals yesterday. This week has been insane. Diana has just been screaming at everybody. All I do know, she is on a rampage and nobody is safe. 
Lord have mercy. I wonder what we got in store for today. Yes, hey, we missing somebody. What Dana? Have y'all heard from her though? Dana called me, but she's not here because Faith hurt her knee last night. Diana's already in a bad mood, and now we're losing another girl before the survival competition. This is gonna take Diana's mood into a whole nother level. All right, everybody come in. Everybody come in. Let's talk real quick. So, Faith is out. Her knee is messed up. I hate that she's injured, but y'all gotta be able to hold it down for the whole team. Faith's leg is messed up. Her knee is done, so that means she cannot dance. And this is all we need right now for me to have another man down. But hey, what the hell else can I do? So we're gonna have to work this out without her will adjust formations. All right, let's go. It's the last day before the competition, and I'm trying to keep my together in front of the team so that they do not feel the panic that is boiling within me. Now I'm about to add in an extra headache to everybody because I'm bringing in babies and y'all know how I feel about the babies. Okay. Let's go to the babies. Babies, y'all make y'all two lines back here. Move fast. Now remember, the competition requires an out-of-the-box element, like a prop or a special guest. So I've decided to bring in the baby dancing dolls from Birmingham. Start with these. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, stop. Focus, focus. Everybody stop smiling. The Birmingham Baby Dancing Dolls have been around for almost three years now. And this team over the last few years have grown into a bunch of little freaking psychos. Those little girls dance their asses off. Move down some, um, area. Move down some time, yeah. The judges really love the babies, so they're definitely my secret weapon, but they make you want to pull all your hair out of your head. Stop laughing, because I'm dead ass damn serious. Girls, y'all come up to y'all spot. OK, ready? One and two, three, four, five and six and seven and eight. Why are you looking down? Since I have a feeling we're going to be going up against Black Ice at some point in the competition, I'm going to create a stand that's called Black Ice Land. One, two, three, go, 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 five. The babies are going to be my little Eskimos. They're going to come to the floor and melt Black Ice's ass. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've created some of the heaviest hitting, hardcore, trick field, crazy ass stands that I could possibly think of. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, stop. All y'all come out. All the ones I've seen so far, the babies. Out, out. Do y'all see how hard they dancing? With the babies, there's a lot of pros and cons. They're cute, and the judges love them, but they also drive me down to nuts. Y'all can't get up there half dance and think that's going to I'm not getting about y'all being cute. I don't care if you're cute, because I'm cute. I don't care if you're sweet. If you screw up, you're gone. Who next? Who's after them? Come on, five, six, seven, eight. When Diana was yelling at us, I was scared. Like, I didn't know if she was going to yell, because I didn't think we missed up. One, two, three, four, stop. Drama, what the f she doing? Five. She told them to come on in. She now. cut all of them back there? Coach D is ruthless. Everyone is scared to say boo, because we'll probably get cut. Y'all gonna have to dance to match that energy. It's a team effort. You can't do your own thing. Now, I'm a perfectionist, and I definitely, from where I'm sitting, feel a cold front coming when we're standing in front of black ice. Y'all cannot get up here and not match their energy. This week has been one catastrophe after another. Christiana is not there. Faith is not there. Everybody looks awful, from the girls to the babies. So yeah, this has just been amazing. From the beginning. Coming up. With everything going on in the dollhouse, with Christiana leaving the team, Diana yelling at everybody, Jaylene feeling isolated, like this is a good time for us all to just bond. Look, I ain't seen the girl smile like this in a long time. Look at Trey and Princess. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute now. I don't want to 
want the boys to get too acquainted and think this is a love connection going on because my princess is only 14 years old, so there will be no dating going on with her inside the dollhouse. One, two, three. I can't touch that. Jumping at the trampoline park is fun, but hanging out with the girls is more fun. Me and Princess are jumping together. You know, we got chemistry going on, but we was honestly just having fun. And whoever gets back to that side first wins. Go! <laughs> Jolene, you suck! <laughs> hanging out with everybody outside the dollhouse, we have more freedom and we're able to laugh more and goof off more. Compared to in the dollhouse, it's nothing but work, work, work. Uh-uh, no. Go, <laughs> and it I have on your feet. I, no, I got one on. I was very happy to see Jaden because she hasn't really enjoyed herself in quite a few weeks. So now here she is, you know, on a trampoline, you know, having fun with the boys, having fun with the girls, getting to know them. And I felt like this week the trampoline park was very, very needed. My hair did rag clean, no chain on, but I'm shining. Burberry, my lining, no days off because I'm grinding. We're coming dolls. for the dolls. We're trying to get them up out the way so we can go home with this trophy. We got a little bit extra in store just for the dolls. We showing up to show out, period. <laughs> that explosive did not come to play today. Guess what? Bigger things come out of Texas, and we're going to always bring the boom. We're going to bring nothing but the fire on that dance floor today. Yes? Yes! All right, y'all. Bring your ass. With this week being Survivor Stand Battle, after every stamp, we lose somebody. So much has happened this week, and leading the team is extra hard without Christiana here. So regardless of who they pull out of the floor, you guys should be ready to come back that much harder. Coach D and the dolls have a lot working against them. I'm just hoping I can remember everything. The last thing I want to do is have Coach D mad at me. We're going to take somebody off their team. They're going to take somebody off of ours. There has been a laundry list of things that have gone on this week. Faith, knee is messed up. Jaylene, tears. The boys, awful. The baby's attention spans out the window. So yeah, I'm kind of praying for a miracle on this one. Make sure that all of the choreography again is tight. I hope the dolls are ready to fight because there's going to be tough teams and there's eliminations every round, and we don't know who they are going to be standing if we even make it to the championship round. DD for L! DD for L! Ladies? Ah, y'all just sat down the table. Yes! Oh, you brought the man! I did! So Faith and I are here to support. It's unfortunate she's not dancing, but she will be there cheering her team on, and I am ready to see who is going to survive? Y'all already know Black Ice finna come for our butts. Yes. 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 True that. But to get to Black Ice, first we have to beat Explosive, and that is not a given. I've been nervous all week. Well. So it's time for you guys to hit the floor. Remember, as soon as um, Explosive starts dancing, start watching. Strategy-wise, the girls got to watch the other dancers on the other teams because they have to pick someone from the other team that they want to eliminate. Looking at the opposing team, looking at who are the strongest members so that you can take them out. Make the dancing dolls remember who we are when it comes to sand battling. This week, Diana don't know what I'm going to bring. We did not come to play. All right, heads bow, eyes closed. Lord God, we thank you yet again for another amazing day, another amazing opportunity to be able to use the gift that we were all blessed and born with. Lord, we ask you to watch over these dancers as they take the floor, that no hurt, harm, or danger will come to them. Ready or not, it is go time. Amen. Amen. It's close, for the Stand and Deliver Survivor Stand Battle Dance Competition. Round one is the Dancing Dolls versus Explosive, and I'm pretty sure Sharkeitha gonna come with all the shenanigans in the world. Damn! How many damn people were we supposed to have in all? You know Explosive rounds the corner. They got an army of boys, girls, cheerleaders, tumblers, Maybe Sharkeetha's strategy 
is to have so many people on the floor, so when we eliminate one or two, the judges won't even notice it. Y'all know which one y'all doing first? Because this morning. This one. Okay. Leading the team is extra hard without Chrissy under here. This is a lot of responsibility, which is making me even more nervous. It's go time! <laughs> bringing out so many cheerleading stunts, I'm thinking that I'm sitting at a UCA competition. But it seems like the judges are enjoying it. Give me the W. I'm working hard. I'm working hard. Hate is real, but I never stop. Sharkita is lifted up in the air, and they slide her into a split in the air. I said, oh, now. Are you done having kids? Diana's always doing her splits, so I wanted to show her that I could do a split, too, not only just on the floor, but in a stunt. Burn, baby, burn. Dancing dolls throw their first in and they look amazing. I notice that the girls are clean, concise, and together. They're fighting hard because they know that at any point, one of them will be taken out. Go, I'm shining like, go, shining like. My plan is to show Miss Diana that I am ready to be on that stage with those other girls. So cocky with it. I'm dancing out of my mind. Can never stop me, baby. I'm always gonna shine. Watch me shine like. Jaylene is keeping up, and I'm very proud of her because she had a tough week, and now she is pulling it together for the sake of the team. One, we get to eliminate one of theirs, and they get to eliminate one of ours. And Makaya, she led the team like a damn champ. But first, it's our turn. Dancing dolls! Who are you voting off? Are we pointing to her? My vote is the tall girl, the captain of the team. She is powerful, she's strong, and she has a lot of energy. Please join your coach on the side. Who do you choose? Point precisely. Are we pointing to her? Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm a little surprised that they eliminated Jaylene. They didn't know that she was a newbie. They really thought that she was one of the heavy hitters. You better recognize! Dang it, I had all these tricks planned for the stand. But, oh well, guess I'm taking one for the team. That's right, she's a threat! That was a really interesting choice. Maybe Explosive was afraid of Jaylene's tricks and all the things that she can do. I'd be scared too. Now we're gonna have to do a stand without a lot of stunts. And I hope that it's enough because Explosive is stunt crazy. this team tearing the floor up and having a good time, that's what I love to see. Man, the team is killing it out there. I really wish I was out there on the floor with them. Do this jump stop shit. Explosive captain, 
not knowing that they had another powerhouse right behind her. I'm not saying that the dolls made the wrong choice, but dang, Explosive is coming down hard. go either way. The dolls had energy to burn, but Explosive came with a lot of tricks. And with Jaylene being benched on that second round, we might have lost just a little bit of our wow factor. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm glad that we got that done, thank God. Earlier today, Black Eyes went up against St. Pete Prima Donnas, and they won. So now, it's the Dolls versus Black Eyes, and it's on. It's time for the championship survival stand battle. It's go time. It's a must and no, our style, it's enough and no, you never seen it quite like this. We lighten up the place, cause yo, we off the chain, off the hook, ain't no other way. Right now, Black Ice facing the dolls. Everybody is up. The energy is high. The personality is there. The tricks, the stunts, the transitions, everything. Fire! out right out the gate, but the dolls are strong and we're pushing through and we're killing it too. Dancing dolls, who will you choose? They are pointed to you. You have been voted off. Who are you voting off? If we got to pick somebody from the dolls to sit down, I think Cameron. Cameron. Are you pointing to her? All right, baby, you've been voted off. Go join your coach. She is the head of the snake. Cut the head, kill the snake. We expected that, baby. Black Ice, you broke first. are neck and neck. There's so much tension in the room right now. We got whiplash just trying to keep up. If I mess up, then I messed up. I cost the whole team this competition. So I was really nervous. Like, oh, I hope my nerves don't get the best of me. I hope I do good. Black Eyes does not expect for us to have boys. Now, I don't trust the boys, but I do love the idea of this whole shock factor. So as I'm watching Trey and Quad, I know they were nervous going into this last round. But, baby, I don't see no nerves because they are killing it. The baby dancing dolls come running out of those igloos like little Eskimos. And, baby, the way they dance, you can feel the ground shaking. That's what the hell I've been waiting on all damn week long. The Dawes did an amazing job today. But Black Ice came with so much energy from the beginning to the end. They did not let up. I feel like it can go either way. It's time 
to announce the winners of today's Stand and Deliver competition. Are you ready to see who's walking away with a victory? The winner of our survival stand battle category is the entire building is on the edge of their seats. Right now, it is really any man's game. From Cincinnati, Ohio, Black A. I told y'all they was gonna win. Dang, man. I really wanted to pull off a win this week. I knew it. I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. Are you serious? I really thought we was gonna bring home this man. We're gonna keep talking, we gonna keep talking. Because we won this sand battle, and yes, you will hear our mouth. So guess what? We, we out. out. I feel like our girls won as a team, regardless yeah, if we didn't get first place. I was really hoping that the dolls pulled this one off. I mean, it would have been a morale booster, seeing as though we just lost the captain. There's always next week, but this one hurts bad. Whoa! Congratulations on your performance today. I thought you guys did an amazing job. It's not always about winning. Sometimes you figure out just how big your nuts are when you face adversity. And the dancing dolls definitely face adversity all damn week long. That last stand was freaking epic. And the fact that the dolls still walked away with a smile on their faces, no trophy could ever define that. <laughs> <laughs>